Mysterious lights. Sinister aircraft. Alien encounters. Since 1947, thousands of UFO sightings have been reported in the United States. Some of these incidents have been so alarming, that prompted military investigation. Here are some of the most terrifying UFO encounters investigated by the U.S. government. Kelly, Kentucky, 1955. A farm family called the Suttons, reportedly experienced a terrifying siege by otherworldly beings. Their story became one of the most detailed and baffling accounts of an alien close encounter on record. The alleged encounter occurred on the night of August 21, 1955, Police said that a total of 11 people, rushed into the Hopkinsville Police Department with terror in their eyes. They said that their house had come under attack by beings from another planet. According to police reports from the witnesses, it all started about 7 p.m. That night, Lucky Sutton and 10 other relatives, were gathered in the unpainted three-room house at their family farm, to visit with friend Billy Ray Taylor and his wife June. Around 7 p.m., Taylor went outside to get some water from the backyard well. While out there, he saw a bright silver object, silently flying toward the house. The craft passed over it, and then stopped in mid-air, before descending to the ground. Taylor immediately went back into the house to tell the others. Moments later, Lucky and Taylor went outside to investigate. They saw a strange glow in the backyard, in the middle of which was a small human-like creature, about three and a half feet tall, with an oversized head. The body, they said, gave off an eerie shimmer in the light, as if made from silver metal. It was then that the two men grabbed their guns, a 20-gauge shotgun and a 22 caliber rifle, and opened fire on one of the creatures. They opened fire on it through the window screen, where the creature once again, flipped and disappeared. Police said they were genuinely terror-struck, as they told all the details of their experience. The incident became national news, and remains a mystery today. Maury Island, Washington, 1947. On June 21, 1947, Harold Dahl and his son, saw six flying discs over their boat in Puget Sound. Their dog began barking at the objects. Then, the strange crafts started raining metallic debris. Dahl and his son escaped with their lives, but the dog didn't survive. The next day, Dahl was reportedly visited by a man in a black suit, who somehow knew all the extraordinary details of Dahl's terrifying experience. And he had a frightening message. Forget what you saw. Don't talk about it, or suffer serious consequences. The disturbing UFO incident, and the appearance of the man in black, left Dahl terrified. Reports of the event sparked a governmental battle over UFO sighting jurisdiction, reaching directly to FBI Executive Director J. Edgar Hoover. The Maury Island incident has continued to fuel conspiracy theories to this day. Holloman Air Force Base, New Mexico, 1956. This bizarre case occurred in March 1956, and involved two military troopers, searching the desert for debris from a recent missile launch. One of the men, reported seeing the other being pulled up into a flying silver disc. Three days later, the body of the alleged abductee was reportedly found 10 miles away, severely mutilated and drained of blood. Proof of this event remains thin, as the government report on the incident, mysteriously vanished. Keweenaw Point, Michigan, 1953. On November 23, 1953, a U.S. Air Force radar picked up an unidentified craft in restricted airspace over Lake Superior. An F-89C Scorpion jet was scrambled to intercept from Truax Air Force Base in Madison, Wisconsin, with two crew members on board. First Lieutenant Felix Moncla took the pilot's seat, while Second Lieutenant Robert Wilson was observing radar. What followed was one of the strangest cases on record. Once airborne, Lieutenant Wilson had difficulty tracking the unknown object, which kept changing course and disappearing from radar. With ground control directing the aviators over the radio, the Scorpion gave chase. Traveling at 500 miles per hour, the jet pursued the object for 30 minutes, gradually closing in, until it caught up to the unknown craft at an altitude of 8,000 feet. At that point, the two radar blips converged into one, and locked together. Then, according to the official accident report, the Scorpion jet simply disappeared from the radar scope, and the UFO sped off. 
Wreckage of the plane was never found, and Air Force officials gave conflicting explanations to the pilot's widow. The military investigated the incident, but there is still no conclusive theory of what the phenomenon was. Florida Everglades, 1952. In August 1952, Scoutmaster Sonny Despergers was driving some Boy Scouts near West Palm Beach when they saw a bright light flash over a Palmetto Grove. What is that? He stopped to investigate. Moments later, he emerged terrified, with burns on his arms. He said a 30-foot diameter saucer had enveloped him in a red mist. Authorities were called to the site, and discovered the grass in the grove was burned, and its roots completely charred. No explanation was ever provided to the public. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.